Hello students, we will continue with chapter 16 that is management of natural resources. Last time we talked about the 5 R's to control the use of natural resources. Today we will be talking about why do we need to manage the natural resources. That is the sustainable development. Uh, you know that we get many things from the nature except one thing that is the solar energy from the sun. Only thing we get from outside is the solar energy that we get from the sun. Otherwise, we get food, clothes, books, toys, furniture, tools, vehicles, everything we use in our daily life we get from the natural resources and even the solar energy which we get from the sun that has been used after it has been processed by the organisms only. So there is a need for the natural resources to be used very carefully which is known as a sustainable development. Now as the human population is increasing tremendously and so the demand of natural resources is also increasing tremendously. Not only there is an increase in human population, but there is an improvement of the improvement in the human health also. That means the mortality rate, the death rate is decreasing. So human population is increasing. For that, the natural resources, the use of natural resources is being increased tremendously. So we need to manage the natural resources in such a way that everybody should be benefited from these resources. Not only the few people or the few countries which are very rich, they should be benefited from natural resources. But everybody should get the equal opportunity for the natural resources to be used. So second thing we should not think of the short term gains that what we are gaining from by using the natural resources but we must use the natural resources in such a way that they must last for generation to come that means our future generation must have the natural resources we should not use these natural resources in such a quantity that they should get exhausted so third thing is these natural resources should be used in such a way that they should not damage the environment. This is known as a sustainable development. So in sustainable development, three things we must take care of. That is encourage the growth. As per the current basic use, jitni hamari basic use hai, utne hi hum natural resources ko use kare. Second, hume natural resources ko preserve karna hai for the future generation. Aisa na ho ki future generation ke liye natural resources bach it nahi. Third thing is ki economical development ke saath hume we, we must do the development, economical development but along with the economical development, environmental conservation must be taken care of. Environment ko hume pollute nahi karna. So let us talk about the very important natural resource that is a forest and the wildlife. Now this forest, Johan, they are the hotspot of biodiversity. Biodiversity hotspots to have a forest. Hai. And this forest must be conserved. Biodiversity kya hota hai? Biodiversity means the various species, the number of species and the variety of each species which is found in an area like bacteria ki kitni species hain kitni variety hain fungi ki species varieties fern ki flowering plants ki and jitne bhi animals hain unki kitni species hain ek area mein aur kitni varieties hain each species ki that means including vertebrates and the invertebrates when we talk about the animals invertebrates as and the invertebrates all these constitute the biodiversity and the biodiversity is very much related to the ecological stability. Agar biodiversity loss ho jayegi, to hamari ecological stability jo hai, we lose the ecological stability. So it is very important to conserve the biodiversity. The forest jo hai, these are the resources 
these forest resources they get affected by four major stakeholders so let us talk about what are those four major stakeholders one is the local people jo local people matlab jo log forest mein rehte hain and they are dependent on the forest product for their needs like they get the firewood from the forest they get the timber for implementing the or for making various implements which are used for hunting and the fishing they make use of bamboos for making the slates for their huts they use these for making the baskets because they have to collect the forest product also so these people local people jo hai wo unki jo living hai that depends upon the forest not only this they rear the cattle and the for the cattle grazing also they are dependent on the forest and the local people they are very much aware that uh, we must conserve the forest so they use the forest in a sustainable manner okay the second type of uh, stakeholders they are the forest department of the government now british jab rule karte the india mein to britishers jo the they were using forests just for their equal economical benefit that means the local people ko they ignore the local people and they cut the forest to grow the monocultures of certain trees which are economically benefited like pine tree teak tree and the eucalyptus these so unhone forest ko destroy karke ye teen tarah ke jo ye ped hai wo laga diye kyunki in pedon ki values jo hai wo zyada hai so they cleared the vegetation and planted these trees of their choice which increases the loss of biodiversity jisme biodiversity ka loss ho gaya plus only few industries jo the they were benefited from these uh, these clearing the vegetation but biodiversity was lost as well as the local people jo the they were reduced that means the living place of the local people they were reduced compared to initial इनिशियली अगर कंपेयर करें तो वो कम हो गई एंड इसमें जो फॉरेस्ट डिपार्टमेंट का रेवेन्यू था वो बहुत इंक्रीज हो गया ओके एंड थर्ड स्टेक होल्डर्स जो था दैट मीन्स दिस इज नॉट ए सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट थर्ड जो थे इंडस्ट्रीज थे इंडस्ट्रीज तुम्हें मालूम है कि इंडस्ट्रीज जो हैं दे रन विद द विद द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द फॉरेस्ट एंड इंडस्ट्रीज जो थे दे स्टार्टेड कटिंग द ट्रीज फॉर देयर ओन इंटरेस्ट so there was a great loss in the biodiversity they didn't bother industrial industries didn't bother about the sustainability and they extract the material which they required without caring for the future generation like they if they clear the teak trees teak trees are very important trees which uh, for the for the industries so agar ek area ke teak trees khatam ho jate hain to they move to the next area for cutting the tree and the last stakeholders that is the nature and the wildlife enthusiasts these are the people who were very much concerned with the conservation and the management of wildlife resources although they are not dependent on the wildlife but they wanted to conserve the nature and the wildlife so the government have made many projects in which you know not on the the bigger animals like lion tigers elephant rhinoceros rhinos rhinoceros were conserved but many trees or many plants they were also conserved so these were the four stakeholders now we'll talk about in the next lecture we'll talk about the various uh, steps which the government have taken to conserve the natural resources thank you students